for the first time in my life, um, just free to love. Free to love as I wished, as we all wished for, you know, the dream love, the love of our life and how we deeply wanted to relate with people, to love each other. Like, just the total love, admiration, and beauty. Just like that, that that's the lifestyle of the Four Mainstays, really, that the context is always the benefit of all. It's so celebrating. Invites everyone to celebrate with complete respect, admiration, and humility, and openness and everyone is so important. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's really like my life. They, they changed totally from the first time I came to the meeting. From seeing only me, myself, this person, you know, even looking at myself like that and opening my eyes, you know, seeing everyone, listening to everyone, relying on open intelligence. Each short moment, so powerful, so potent so directly experienced that no one will say anything to go against it. That's the power of short moment. You know, it's so cool because it doesn't matter what comes down to our mind. You know, it's, you see our indestructible stability. It doesn't matter even if I say that all data are inseparable from open intelligence. You hear it over and over again every day, like the color blue in the sky. Even if you find a way in your mind to separate the color blue and the sky, then the instinctive recognition will be so strong that it cannot be faked. You know, even if you convince yourself that there is no open intelligence, in, the, in your best of your ability, you just made it. You, you, you speak and everyone can believe you if you say that. But your instinctive recognition of open intelligence, no one can never go against that. You see, that's the power of open intelligence. That's the power of the benefit of all. It takes over everything. It sweeps away everything. It's like whoosh, big wave. Everything is just like a line drawn in water, leaving no trace. No matter how smart you are, how knowledgeable you are, when you allow an open intelligence, evenness, equalness, in the vibe of the benefit of all in one tune for the benefit of all. Heart to heart. Nothing to prove. Now, sometimes I came to the meeting when I started and I wanted to just to, you know, be special trying to show off with something, but then <laughs> no one really cared. <laughs> it's, it's amazing because everyone is just like so empowered. Suddenly I saw everyone so powerful, beautiful, that I have nothing to prove. The beginning it was shocking, then what a relief, not try to prove myself anymore. Trying to make my point, you know, thinking that I know better. So what if I know better? You know, and then relying on open intelligence, recognizing open intelligence within you in every moment. Such an empowerment. I mean, that's a complete speech, nothing to say. You know, we can just be here together, relying on open intelligence, and it's done. The benefit of all reigns. So that's the power of open intelligence. The introduction of open intelligence when we hear stop thinking. Don't underestimate it, because it's extremely powerful. Stop thinking for a moment, acknowledge who you are. What remains? What remains when you stop thinking? What remains? Stop thinking for a moment, for a moment. You now give yourself that break, that break of reification. Reification, what about us is not reifying data streams? What about us is completely clear? What about us is completely open? What about us is completely loving? Loving inexhaustibly, like with such an openness of mind and heart. So that's open intelligence. When we see excessive negativity, even within ourselves, that doesn't matter. <coughs> but we allow an open intelligence for the benefit of all. We acknowledge who we are. We gain confidence. We expand our power. We expand our power. We don't reduce our power. Thinking something and stopping there. 
that's reducing ourselves into some kind of reification, principal data streams that we for so many years believed in. So now we stop. We choose benefit for all. We choose to be of benefit to ourselves and others. We choose to serve ourselves and others. In our intimate relationship, we choose to be of service. We choose to love, to respect. In all of our relationships, we choose the same. When we have people in our life that are sick or dying, we ask them how they want to be supported. That's the only question. How do you want to be supported? What can I do for you? Then you have the answer. No matter how much research you've done, how do you want to be supported? That's complete. That's how you give yourself totally to everyone. That, uh, this is how you support, empower, you know, use the most amazing knowledge in the world in the moment to moment, relying on open intelligence. Even if you think, oh, there is nothing there, or I don't know what to do. It's not clear for me. I'm confused. I still don't know what to do. This is it. This is the power. Allow yourself to be as you are. Allow yourself not to know. Allow yourself to be confused. If things are overwhelming, use the tools of the Four Mainstays. You know, you, you've done the, you completed the 12 empowerments and it's very specifically laid out how to use the Four Mainstays. Your trainer will be so happy to support you in that. You know, how to be supported in the Four Mainstays. What is available for me? What can I do more to be contributed to? What can I do more to empower my life? You see that this position of openness is so powerful because it's inexhaustible. It's like, it's, it's never ending. It's never ending. That's what I see in myself. I always can learn more, always can be contributed to be of more benefit to my life. But every day is so complete and satisfying. So whatever we think, whatever we feel, whatever we, you know, whatever we learn in our life, the talents that we have, the gifts that we have, we can use all of that. It's not that we do pose and have a different life, although it does feel like that. But it's, it's actually we play, you know, we play, we listen, we feel. Finally, we feel everything, we avoid nothing. And we allow everything to be as it is. And we use it all for the benefit of all. We use it all for the benefit of all. That's really amazing. So in the intimate relationship, what I saw in myself doing the 12 empowerment is that, wow, I can now, instead of blaming, you know, acting upon my expectations, criticizing, or, you know, just, Speaking in an unkind way, I can instead rely on open intelligence. I can rely on my trainer. I can write to my trainer. Send. There is a space of ease and intimacy immediately. A short moment of open intelligence. Cutting the bullshit. No, no explanations needed. No commentary. You know these commentaries that we have every day about everything? So, short moment of open intelligence, acknowledging the benefit of all, our commitment to be of benefit to ourselves and others. Even in the most ordinary relationship, you know, in, in everyday life, with our family, with our friends, in an in, intimate relationship, that's the power. We see everything, all of the things we've been avoided. At the beginning I thought, oh my God, is, it, is that intimacy? I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid to be that intimate with someone. But then allowing it to be as it is, relying on open intelligence, that opens up all the doors of relating, of speaking, of acting, and everything with such a respect. And enjoyment too. It's not serious. Enjoying, you know, enjoying, really enjoying fully, being so spontaneous, so cool. You really want to be cool? I always wanted to be so cool. So short moments, that's, that's the coolest thing, really. 
because it allows everyone to be as they are. Everyone to be as they are, but there is a, a united flow of benefit. It does not waver from benefit. It's very clear. You know, when we come to the open meeting, we recognize ourselves. Doesn't matter how negative it is, we allow it to be as it is. How we allow things to be as they are, we allow them to be as they are. It's not complicated, we allow it to be as they are. And the four mainstays, they're completely available. It's up to us to take the support. Many times I was waiting to someone to support me or to save me. You know, like feeling that victim, wanting that everyone will notice I am a victim. You know, just making a sad face or looking on the side and just like, you know, saying this or that or being quiet. Now it's not anymore the case. I have a complete support in place. I can do all these things, but I can rely on the four mainstays. I can write to my trainer, I can take short moments and everything is so beautiful and loving. Yeah, I think I wrote here, the magic, the magic, I love that word because isn't it so magical when we see that our mind just, you know, just saying all kinds of things, but our direct experience is so the opposite. You know, when we rely on open intelligence, we are of benefit regardless of hatred, disrespect. Isn't it so amazing that we see that in actuality, in reality, we can rely on short moment of open intelligence and be of complete benefit regardless of circumstances? This is the magic we are looking for. The only magic that is available for human beings is to be of benefit to all. And that's so magical. It's so skillful. It uses everything, everyone, for the benefit of all.